all right so the next question is related to the proton in mr and carbon 13 in mr the question is neramexine is another drug uh, this is the structure of neramexine and the question is suggest the number of peaks number of peaks in the carbon 13 nmr spectrum of neramexine so if we have this structure of neramexine how many peaks how many different peaks we get on carbon 13 nmr means how many different carbon 13 environment do we have in this neramexine structure theek hai so let's count the uh, different carbon environments so this is a different carbon environment 1 2 then these two carbon atoms this one and this one these two carbon atoms have similar environment so that means 3 and 4 and these two carbons which one this one and this one they have similar environment so that means 4 and 5 and these four protons 1 2 3 4 they have similar environment so that means they would give a single peak so the number of peaks we get on a carbon 13 nmr would be 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so we get six peaks on a carbon 13 nmr all right next part of the question is related to proton nmr the proton nmr spectrum of neramexane in cdcl3 which is a solvent shows five peaks so carbon 13 nmr gives six peaks and proton nmr gives six, uh, five peaks with the following chemical shift so they have given us the chemical shift number of protons responsible and the splitting pattern now the most important part in this question is or uh, all the questions of this sort that the you must know this thing that number of protons responsible number of protons when they talk about the number of protons responsible that means they are talking about the protons which are giving the peak right number of protons responsible means the protons which gives the peak right so as the number of protons responsible for a peak increases peak height increases so number of protons means the uh, abundance if we have more protons uh, responsible for any kind of peak its peak height would be much larger and the splitting pattern splitting pattern like it is a single led double led triple led quartet or multiplet splitting pattern is not due to the number of protons responsible it is not due to the protons which are giving the peak splitting pattern is the uh, neighboring protons right so the splitting pattern of any peak is due to the uh, protons attached adjacent to it right so the splitting pattern is due to the neighboring this is due to the neighboring protons all right so this is the most important thing you must understand this thing and now they're saying that we have to complete the table right so first of all let's talk about the peak at 1.2 the peak at 1.2 three protons are responsible for this peak and if we look closely at this structure so we have only one carbon which has three protons attached to it and this one is the carbon this has ch3 right so that means the uh, the peak at 1.2 is due to this ch3 right and its a splitting pattern uh, its a splitting pattern would be its neighboring carbon is this one and this carbon has zero hydrogens right so that means its a splitting pattern would be singlet all right so we would like we can say that the peak at 1.2 for which three protons are responsible its splitting pattern would be singlet all right and then the peak at 1.7 four protons are responsible for the peak at 1.7 so four proton means they are talking about these two carbons ch2 and ch2 their environment and are different so they would give the same peak and that means this peak at 1.7 is due to these two carbon atoms and if we look at the neighboring carbons of these two carbon atoms so this carbon has zero protons attached to it this carbon has zero protons and again this carbon has zero proton so that means their splitting pattern will also be singlet so these two peaks were easy now the 
protons which are left in this structure this nh2 these 12 hydrogens ch3 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 and these two protons right so now we have to find out the number of protons responsible they have given us the peaks at 0 0.9 1.4 and 2.2 and we have to find out that which peak is due to NH2, which peak is due to 12 protons of CH3 and which peak is due to this CH2. So let's look at the data booklet. So the chemical shift range for the alkanes proton, either CH3 or CH2 or CH is from 0.9 to 1.7, right? And the chemical shift range for alkyl amine chemical shift range for alkyl amine is from 1 to 5 right so that means the peak at 2.2 the peak at 2.2 this is due to nh2 so that means number of protons responsible would be 2 and this would give a broad singlet all right and the peak at 1.4 now we have two chemical shift 0.9 and 1.4 they both related to alkanes and because they are saying that the peak at 1.4 uh, two protons are responsible for it so that means they are talking about this carbon this ch2 so it's a splitting pattern again it is connected to carbons which have zero hydrogen atoms so its splitting pattern will also be singlet and now the last peak at 0.9 so that means 0.9 is due to these four ch3 groups and they have similar environment so the number of protons responsible would be 12 protons all right so we have completed this table now the next part of the question is if you have solved the previous part this part is now easy use the data booklet and the table in c2 to complete the assignment of the correct chemical shift values to each of the circled hydrogen atoms on the structure of neuromexane so the peak at nh2 is uh, the peak of nh2 is at 2.2 right uh, this they have already mentioned 1.2 and the peak for these four hydrogen ch3 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 this is at 0 0.9 0 0.9 and the peak for these two these four protons ch2 ch2 this was 1.7 1.7 and this ch2 was 1.4 so we have filled all the chemical shift values now the last part of the question is one of the peaks in the proton nmr spectrum disappears when the sample is shaken with d2o identify the peak and explain why it disappears so d2o is basically uh, a solvent which can be used to identify or to find out if we have any peak due to nh2 or oh because d2o would release deuterium ions which would di displace the uh, protons present in NH2 or OH and displace it with deuterium and deuterium does not give any peak on uh, proton NMR, right? So identify the peak which would be disappear. So the peak due to NH2, this peak would disappear, right? The peak due to NH2 peak will disappear and why it disappears due to proton exchange with D2. So this is a very easy way to find out if we have a peak due to OH or NH2 group in our structure, right? So like uh, if we write a chemical equation for this whole process, let's suppose whatever the organic compound we have, if we have an NH2 group attached to it and we add D2O, so D2O would release deuterium ions which take the place of the protons of NH2. So this becomes R and d2 plus we get h2 so because deuterium is the heavy isotope of hydrogen so it does not gives any peak on uh, proton nmr so that means the peak would disappear the peak which we were initially getting from nh2 that peak will disappear when we add d2 d2o deuterium will replace the uh, protons of nh2 and this is called proton exchange so due to which this peak will disappear all right 